people go to sleep on a screen, they wake up on a screen. I know people that sit down to take a shit and it should take four minutes or one minute, and literally they're on the toilet for an hour. If you wanna live a badass life, you gotta have a badass work ethic, okay? Guess what? Get off your phone. Maybe yours is the TV, okay? But I think the screens in general are distracting people from hardcore work ethic. Does that make sense? Hey guys, Andy Elliott. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about work ethic, how to improve your work ethic. Look, we're in a generation right now where everybody's like, oh yeah, I don't wanna work hard, I wanna work smart. Listen, I'm gonna tell you this. I don't know one single self-made multimillionaire that literally didn't work hard. So like, if you're like, I don't wanna work hard, you know, I get like the Tim Ferriss, the four hour work week, I get that. I don't know very many people that pull that off. I'm just gonna be honest. And by the way, if you wanna build something big, okay? There's a lot of people that don't, they're not psycho competitors like me. They don't wanna build 100, 200, $300 million business. Um, I get it. Listen, uh, maybe there's a way, you know, where you don't have to work hard. I will tell you 95% of the world doesn't get to where they wanna go because their work ethic is pure dog shit. Facts. So in this video, I'm gonna give you four ways, okay, I'm gonna give you four on how you can increase your work ethic. Is that cool? Because everybody's always like, how can I increase my work ethic? Okay, well, let me give you four ways, okay? And by the way, I want you to do me a favor. When we're done, I want you to comment below and let me know which one was your favorite way. Is that cool? All right, or just give me some feedback on the video. Let's kick some ass. All right, number one, create non-negotiables. This is super important, all right? I wanna go back to my automotive days. This is super important. I had non-negotiables. Everybody says, what is that non-negotiable? It means this happens or that happens and it's not up for, for giving up anything. This is it, it's this or nothing, okay? Now let me give you an example. When I sold cars, I either had to sell three cars a day or I had to make 200 phone calls, okay? So if I sold three cars, I could have only made 150 phone calls. That was totally cool, but I sold my three cars. If I didn't sell three cars, there was always 200 phone calls made by me. So non-negotiable, three cars or 200 phone calls. That was it, every single day I was in the office. Now, I wanna give you an example, when, I, when a non-negotiable, also when I got home, if I didn't sell three cars, no matter how many phone calls I made, if I didn't sell three cars, I had to run three miles. I did it every night. A pair of shoes by my front door, if I didn't sell three cars, when I got home, I ran three miles. That's non-negotiable, okay? How do you increase your work ethic? By creating a non-negotiable, all right? So I need you to think right now, what non-negotiables do I need to create in my life? That's gonna be number one. Number two, this is a good one. Put your phone away. Listen, I know a lot of people that don't get a lot of work done because they're constantly distracted. Let me explain this. You're not really where you are. When you're at work, you're not really at work. You, you're thinking about being at home or being at the gym. When you go to work, right, you should be at work, not anywhere else, kick ass at work. And then when you go to the gym, be at the gym. When you're at home, be at home. The reason why this world's so easy to beat right now is because no one is really where they are. They're physically on these screens. They're on their phone. Now listen, if you're watching this video right now from your phone, I get that, that's cool. Watch this 15 minute video, learn about the work ethic, and then put your phone away and go kick ass. When you're at the gym, you shouldn't be thinking about work. When you're at the gym, you shouldn't be thinking about home. When you're at home, you shouldn't be thinking about being at work. Just be where you are and stop being distracted. And so a big distraction in this world right now is this phone. People go to sleep on a screen, they wake up on a screen. I know people that sit down to take a and it should take four minutes or one minute, and literally they're on the toilet for an hour. They literally lose track of time because they're on their phone and all of a sudden they're in the matrix and they're gone. I was sitting there the other day and I was in a company and I looked over at this guy and he literally got down to get something out of his phone and then he got caught on social media and I watched him for an hour and a half go down a black hole. Didn't look up once and he was, lo and he was lost. And you know what's funny? Listen. <laughs> He's doing his work and he's in a bad mood, this guy was. But when it came to, to getting in his phone, he was laughing, cracking up, having a good time. It's like a fake life. It's not even real, okay? His real life, he didn't even like. It's crazy. If you wanna live a badass life, you gotta have a badass work ethic, okay? Guess what? Get off your phone. Maybe yours is the TV, okay? 
But I think the screens in general are distracting people from hardcore work ethic. Does that make sense? All right, guys, number three, standard, standard of behavior, standards, period. What you live for, what you stand for, what your core belief is, what's important to you? If you, if you don't know your standards, you can't, you can't work hard. Look, dude, my standards every day, I work my ass off because I know what my ethos is. I know what my standard is. I know what's important to me. It's everywhere. It's on my heart. It's in my language. It's, it's in every board of my company. It's in my, it's in my home. My standards are everywhere, okay? And that's why my work ethic is so high because I have my standards everywhere. My behavior is a direct reflection of my work ethic. My direct reflection of my work ethic is because of my behavior, because of my standards, okay? So if you want to elevate your life, you want to go to a new level, number one, you got you to write down what your standards are. If you don't know what your standards are right now, okay, then I understand why you're not working hard. I understand when, you know, because working hard isn't always fun. Like it's, look, I always say like winners do what like they don't want to do and do it like they love it, right? Like I don't want to do this, but I do it like I love it. Uh, okay, well, that's a standard. Like that's what we do because we're winners. We're not losers, okay? And that right there helps me with my work ethic. Does that make sense? Okay, guys, by the way, if you need help with work ethic, there's a million things I could talk about. I'm talking about four in this video, four ways. But if you need help, okay, that's what I do for a living is that I help people find an edge. I help people kill off old negative beliefs, bad habits, laziness, and I teach them new skills, things that they can adopt to kick ass and get the life they want. There's gonna be a link in the description box below. It says Coach with Andy. If that's you and you're like, dude, I wanna kick ass, you can answer a couple of the questions, make sure you fill out your name, your phone number correct, I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. Let's make a plan, okay? You feel me? So like if you're serious, if you're a psycho competitor, if you really wanna be kick ass, there's working hard, which is how to increase your work ethic, but also, also there's getting better, okay? And I can help you with both. All right, let's get into the last one. Be clear on the vision and the mission and what you wanna achieve. Vision, mission, achieve. You gotta be clear on it. How can you execute if you don't know what you want? I ask a lot of people all the time, I say, hey, you wanna be successful? And they're like, yeah! And I'm like, what's the defi definition of success to you? And they're like, I wanna be financially free. I said, everybody says that. Tell me what you mean. What do you really want? And they can't answer it. And so if you can't answer it, if you don't know what you want, if you don't know what mission you're on, if you don't know what your vision is, what you're working towards, why would you work so hard? Does that make sense? Okay, so after this video, guys, I want you to think about these four things, but I want you to really think about that last one, okay? What is it you really want, okay? I know what mine is. I work like a fire-breathing dragon, 25-7, 365. I love it, I love my family, I love my life, I love getting this opportunity to be alive in this era where it's never been easier to win, where work ethic is bad to the bone and gets heavily rewarded. Okay, you want a rich life, you want to get rich, you got to have a badass work ethic. Yeah, work smart and hard. Always have a good work ethic. People will respect you with a great work ethic. You may not be the best in the world, you may not be the best uh, in talent, but if you work the hardest and you have the greatest work ethic, you can kick anyone's ass. Guys, so I love you, I appreciate, hope you're doing amazing. Um, I hope you found this video, I try to make it short for you guys, so you can get a quick one in, get that work ethic up, go kick ass. Share it with the lazy person. Would you do me a favor? Would everybody, well, share this with the buddy who's kicking ass and be like, dude, AE said it again, work ethic, man, make sure we're doing these things, but also send it to a lazy person. Be like, man, dude, you're one step away from freaking having a new life, you got me? So guys, work ethic is everything. I appreciate you guys. I love you. Hope you have a blessed day, and I'll see you in the next video.